One Hungry Cat by Joanne Rocklin, Scholastic. Tom liked to make yummy things. One day, Tom mixed flour, sugar, water, eggs, butter, and yummy chocolate in a big bowl. Steer, steer, where, where? Tom baked one dozen chocolate cookies. I have enough yummy cookies to share with my friends, he said. Tom called Lulu. Tom called Mo. Come to my house at 2 o'clock for a party. I have something yummy to share, said Tom. Tom put three plates on the table. He put the same number of cookies on each plate. There, said Tom. I like to be fair when I share. But Tom was hungry. He could not wait until 2 o'clock. He could not wait another minute. Tom gobbled up the cookies on his plate. Yummy, said Tom. Now, Tom tried to put an equal number of cookies on three plates. He could not do it. Lulu and Mo will be mad if I am not fair. Tom gobbled up all the cookies so Lulu and Mo would not be mad. Tom looked at the clock. I still have enough time to bake something yummy, he said. Tom picked two lemons from his lemon tree. He mixed flour, sugar, milk, eggs, butter, and lemon juice in a bowl. Here's tear weir weir. Tom baked a lemon cake. The lemon cake was square. A square cake is easy to share, said Tom. Tom cut the lemon cake in half. There are not enough pieces to share, said Tom. Tom cut the two pieces in half again. Now there are too many pieces to share, Tom said. So he ate one of the pieces. Yummy, said Tom. Tom put one piece of lemon cake on each plate. Fair, said Tom. I like to be fair when I share. Tom sat down to wait for Lulu and Mo. Sniff. He smelled the yummy lemon cake. Chomp. Tom ate half of one piece of cake. He could not help it. Oh no, said Tom. I ate half of Lulu's cake. Now, Lulu's piece of cake is tiny. Lulu will be sad. Tom did not want Lulu to be sad. So Tom ate half of Mo's cake too. Then Tom ate half of his own piece of cake. Now, there was a tiny piece of lemon cake on each plate. These pieces are too tiny for a party, Tom said. He gobbled up all the tiny pieces of lemon cake. Tom looked at the clock again. Lulu and Mo would be coming in half an hour. I must bake something yummy for my friends, said Tom. Tom had a tiny bit of flour a tiny bit of milk, and a tiny bit of butter. He had one egg and nine blueberries. That is not enough to bake a dozen cookies. That is not enough to bake a cake. What will I do? asked Tom. Then Tom had a good idea. He put everything into a little bowl. If I hurry, I can still bake something yummy, Tom said. Steer, weir. Along came Lulu and Mo at two o'clock. Here is something yummy for you, said Tom. Tom gave one blueberry muffin to Lulu. He gave one blueberry muffin to Mo. Tom, don't you want something yummy too? asked Lulu. Tom patted his fat tummy. 
he was not hungry. No, said Tom. I baked the muffins just for the two of you. But that is not fair, said Mo. We want to share with you. I see blueberries in these muffins. We will share our blessings with you, said Lulu. Blueberries yummy, said Tom. Lulu and Mo counted the blueberries. Let's see, said Lulu. We will each give Tom two blueberries. That will be fair. No, no, said Mo. I will give Tom three blueberries. You will give Tom two blueberries. No, said Lulu. I will give Tom one blueberry and you? Stop, said Tom. Please do not give me anything. It is all for you. Tom, said Lulu. How nice of you. You are a good friend, said Mo. Thank you, said Tom. The end. Thank you for watching. Let's read together next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also comment down below if you have any questions or if you would like to request for a book. See you next time!